Hi, thanks for joining me on Movies with Mitch. Now let's go see what's in the theaters this weekend. Once again, the world is coming to an end, and only a select few have been chosen to stop it from happening. Uh, yeah. The Archangel Michael, played by Paul Bentley, has disobeyed direct orders from heavens and is now fighting on the side of man against an angelic army. Now this movie had an interesting idea, but went downhill from there. The writing was bad, the dialogue was worse, and the casting was, for the most part, horrible. You don't look like any policeman I ever saw, even one from L.A. Are you here to protect us? Not you. Her. Why me? Because your child is the only hope humanity has of surviving. There were a couple funny parts and a few good fight scenes, but overall, I give this movie, with a runtime of an hour and a half, a D. This compelling movie, based on true events, about a father not giving up on his kids, who are dying from a rare disease, was a surprisingly good watch. I wish that we had a drug to treat Pompeii, but we simply don't. I'm sorry. Solid performances were delivered from Brendan Fraser and Carrie Russell, as the two parents racing against the clock of their children's dwindling health. This is John Crowley. All the researchers out there say that you're a genius on the verge of a scientific breakthrough. And Harrison Ford as the eccentric lone cowboy scientist who can cure the sick children. Look, nobody is going to tell me how to run my lab. One of the main hindrances for this movie was that at times it seems to bog itself down with too much technical jargon, making the story suffer from detachment by the viewing audience. We push ourselves. We work around the clock. I already work around the clock. Great. Overall, this movie had a good story and strong characters. And with a runtime of an hour and 45 minutes, I give it a B minus. Well, that's all the reviews I have for this week, but I want to hear your opinions. So email me at mpompayek at kyma.com and make sure to come back next week when I'll have reviews for Edge of Darkness starring Mel Gibson and When in Rome starring Kristen Bell. But until then, I'm Mitch Pompayek saying go out and watch a movie.